not strong. Hello there, this is a request I got from someone and I thought it'd make for a good video. To start with, look in the description to see the Super NES games Nintendo has already listed in the Wii, Wii U, and 3DS Virtual Consoles in North America. Many Super Nintendo classics are already there, like Super Metroid, the Mega Man X series, Earthbound, the Castlevania games, and Link to the Past, just to name a few. This video will be a list of games that I think should also be on there. Bear in mind, I'm not going to count re-releases on other platforms. For example, Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy 4, 5, and 6 have all been re-released on a number of platforms, so there's plenty of places to experience those games. Now, as someone that lives in the United States, the first game I noticed missing is Terranigma. This game got released in Japan and Europe, but the US missed out. But I mean, seriously, what is the holdup? The game has already been translated, it's a great game, there's a natural curiosity about it, and it's got that top-down Zelda-style gameplay that people love. Just get it done, get it up there! In fact, put the whole Enix trilogy on there. Soul Blazer shows its age a bit, but it's still a fun playthrough. And Illusion of Gaia, of course, has some quality top-down puzzle solving. Staying on RPGs, Lufia 2 would be another terrific addition. The translation was good enough, and doesn't need to be cleaned up that much, I don't think. The game has a great sense of humor that comes across well, and again, the gameplay is slightly Zelda-like, but with RPG turn-based combat. Another obvious choice is Secret of Evermore. Personally, this game isn't my cup of tea, but I really hear it from the game's fans about my review for it, and to me that just goes to show that there definitely is an audience for it, so it should be on there. One last RPG I'll suggest is Robotrek. It's a slightly more obscure game that got utterly ignored in its initial release, but it holds up okay today, although it could use a cleaned up translation. You invent robots and customize their strengths and special attacks. The gameplay is very reminiscent of Pokemon and Dragon Quest monsters, so I really think it would get some attention today. Now, if you want to include Japan-only Super Famicom RPGs on this list, that's probably a pipe dream because of the sheer amount of work the localization would take. But just in case someone out there is listening, I'd love to see Seiken Densetsu 3, Live a Live, and Rujo no Hijo on the Virtual Console, like, tomorrow please? Thanks. Anyway, another classic that sticks out in my mind is Turtles in Time. I know this game got remade, but the original Turtles in Time has got to be on there, complete with multiplayer capabilities. It's arguably the best beat-em-up in the 16-bit era, up there with Streets of Rage 2. Another obvious choice is the Donkey Kong Country series, which used to be up there but mysteriously got taken down about two years ago. People were expecting maybe a Donkey Kong All-Stars compilation release or something like that, but nothing has come yet. Rare has denied having anything to do with the games getting pulled, so I'm not sure what the deal is. For other platformers, there's Sparkster. Most people know this character from the Rocket Knight Adventures games on Sega Genesis, and might not know that this game actually isn't a port, it's an entirely different game, and a very good one at that. There's also Sunset Riders, another fantastic multiplayer game from Konami. This one needs no explanation, just a simple arcade-style run-and-gun with tons of personality. Marry me with my money. And there's Hagane, a great game, but an obscenely expensive cartridge that was a blockbuster exclusive, so not many copies were made. All the more reason to get it on the virtual console. Continuing on, there's a couple shoot-em-ups I'd like to see on there too, namely two of the best in Space Megaforce and UN Squadron. Come on guys, you already got Axelay up there for the Wii. And just to name a few more games from some random genres, I also want to see Top Gear, Ken Griffey Jr. Presents Major League Baseball, and Tetris Attack, the last of which is already on the 3DS Virtual Console in Japan. There's also several Super Famicom platformers, shoot-em-ups, and run-and-gun games that don't need a lot of work in terms of localization that I think would go a long way on the Virtual Console. Stuff like Rendering Ranger R2, Makuro Scrambled Valkyrie, Iron Commando, or Hamelin no Violin Hickey, both of which I reviewed, and especially Maju Uo, a kind of horror-based platformer which is really something different for the 16-bit era. Okay, that's all I got today. As always, thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.